Welcome back, it's threshing time. This is the trailer full of rye that you saw us harvest in a previous episode. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out over here. And I'm sure you're excited to see us get threshing through all of this. So threshing is the process of separating the actual seeds, the rye grains, from the heads, which is this part right here, and then of course the stalk. So of each one of these stalks, 90% of it is stuff we don't want, and then there's just a few little rye seeds in there that we're trying to extract. So how do you separate the grain? Well, after the grain has dried out, the seeds can be separated out from the heads by some kind of percussive force. So the way this was done in olden times was by using a flail and hitting each of these heads repeatedly until, it, uh, until the seeds fall out. Another way you can do it is by rubbing it between your hands and you can pull out the kernels. But of course we don't want to rub uh, all, all of this. these by ourselves with our hands. That's not a good idea. But in general, you're looking for some kind of percussive force or rubbing motion that could separate out the seeds from the chaff. And somewhere in this whole trailer, we're estimating we might have as much as 100 pounds of rye. So we're going to try out a few different methods. In the past, we've done the traditional flail, just hitting it with a stick repeatedly. And we want to try upgrading that. So one thing that we know works is using a drill with a bucket to flail around inside of a bucket. And then we're going to try a crazy idea using a leaf shredder to thresh our grain. Another thing that we're going to try using for threshing is using a weed whacker, a string trimmer, inside of a bucket. We're hoping that that will be a little faster than the drill, but maybe not as fast as the leaf shredder. Let's get started! Okay, well, let's see. So here's a seed kernel. And it looks like it's been partially pulverized, but not totally. If you look over here, they're mostly intact. Well, that got everything out of that one. Let's look at another one. Yeah, that's all whipped out too. I mean, it is applying a lot of that percussive force, right? Mm-hmm. That one is all cleaned out too. Okay, if we had some kind of massive screen, that would solve all our problems. We could try setting up a tarp and just catching the stuff as it falls down here. Okay, so what did we learn? Um, so, it's super fast. Like really fast, like really awesome. This is great. Um, except that a lot of these kernels are breaking. You can see some of them are whole like that one, but there's a ton of half kernels here. So here's a question is, well, do you care if your kernels break? And the answer is maybe. If you're going to make bread with it today, I don't believe it makes any difference. But um, if, the kernels, if, if the kernels break and you're trying to store them for a long time, that's a form of grain damage, and it makes them more susceptible to chemical degradation and the invasion of bacteria and insects. So if you don't want bacteria and insects in your grain because you're storing them for long periods of time, then it might be, you know, that, that's a problem. That's, that's potentially a problem. <laughs> So what we've got here is a trash bag, but it's also a lifesaver. And what this thing is, is it's a way to filtering out really big pieces of straw and or seed heads that didn't get threshed and keeping them separate because they're really, really hard to winnow out with just air. So here goes.
Bottom and see how we're doing. Okay. Yeah, well, it's definitely knocking some loose. The real test, though, is you want to look at the heads, and there's still quite a bit in there. day later yeah. we finished threshing we both estimate probably about 45 so so if it was wheat I would know it would be 45 pounds since it's rye I don't I don't know how much it weighs compared to wheat but I, I would By estimate volume in, in round numbers about 45 pounds worth of rye so about a six gallon buckets worth we're gonna make some cool rye bread and do some other stuff with it um, what was most effective was by far the wood chipper and it wasn't even close yeah. it wasn't even close yeah I know right now we're just cleaning up the rest of the mess which you can see there behind me there's a bit more of the mess to go. Yeah, it's It's been a long day. It's been a long day, it's been a hard day, but we've got 45 pounds of rye and that's pretty awesome, so. It's really satisfying stuff, man. You estimated it was what, 50 bucks worth of rye? <sighs> Round numbers, back of the napkin stuff. But... $50 worth of rye, two men's f labor for? About 10 hours. 10 hours total? So that's 20 Maybe man hours. hours. Okay, so 16 man hours. Gosh. So, so no, we're not the most cost-effective operation around. Gosh. But I, I dare you to find somebody else who's threshed 45 pounds of rye by themselves. If you've so. <laughs> threshed 45 pounds of rye by yourself, please Then leave major a comment props, below. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, and do leave that comment. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, and if you would like to see more videos like it, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. Till next time.